okay good day everyone today will be another tutorial on loci plotting loci of shafts as they move um, in a revolution we'll be using our same textbook as last time um, engineering drawing by pickup and packer and uh, today we'll be using example or rather exercise 23 from page 41 as our question now let me read out the question the crank oe and let me draw as i read it out the crank oe revolves anti-clockwise about O and B moves to and fro along the horizontal line through O. This is actually broken lines. Plot the locus of P if OA is 30 mm, AB is 95 mm, and AP is 20 mm. So we have something like this. So um, this line PAB, this line PAB moves on this horizontal line so this point b at every instance of time moves through this horizontal line so let's begin plotting and um, drawing Start with a circle. Okay, so we have uh, the skeletal plan of our circle, and from the question we have OA to be 30 mm. So that's the diameter, the radius of our circle should be 30 mm. That's three centimeters. Okay, with that being done, we divide the circle into Twelve equal parts. And we draw lines So that's good. Now we get, we assign one of these lines our, our shaft OA. So we have O as the center. Let's take this as A. So in the question, in the question, um, AB 
is 95 millimeters through this straight line. So let's extend this straight line, horizontal line. Then measure 95 millimeters, which is 9.5 cm. with A as our center. Okay, so that's it. So join the point from A. Um, we have that P. A is 20 millimeters, which is 2 cm. So we can just get that out here. So we have P, A, and B. All right, so with this, we can get the various instances of all these points. Okay, remember that it is going anti-clockwise. So we can see that this is A naught, then A1, 2, so we have that and we get B for each of uh, is so we just mark out our original AB then for each A for instance for A1 we use A1 as the center and on the horizontal line mark out where A1 will be or B1 will be so this is where B1 is from A1 as our center so we have B1 here this is B0 so we do the same thing for all the A's, B2, B3, So don't let this confuse you, the fact that um, it's not arranged in order. That's just because as A, O is moving along in um, anti-clockwise direction, revolution, the lengths of A, O or A, B move a little this way. So that's why we're having something like B11 appearing before B8 and so on. So just try to ensure that you get each of your points in order in you know get them to be known. Don't um, try and mark them out so that you don't get confused. So with that you draw all the connect A's to B's. So this is B1 here. and also extend it so that we can have our P. P, it's, this is P naught. Um, A2 to B2. A3 to B3, this is B3. A4 to B4 is going to be on the same horizontal line. A5 to B5. This is B5. A6 to B6. A7 to B7. A8 
it to it. Nine to B nine. Ten to ten, and then A eleven to B eleven. All right. So, with that being done, we get our P's for each instance of A. Just measure out the twenty millimeters from each. So for A1, which is uh, this guy, A2, A3, 4, no, okay, this is, yeah, this is A3 right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and last but not least, eleven. So we have all the points of P for each instance of A. If you want to, you can um, you can mark it out like P naught, P one, P two, so on and so forth. But I'll just go straight to um, tracing out the locus of uh, points P. All right, so let's begin. Of course, you can see the outline of our shape, so let's just do it. Okay, with that, we are done with the shape of our locus. Don't mind the way the it's not smooth, but if you do your best, you should be able to get a smooth curve. So we can complete our shaft and our rod. So that completes a tutorial on making, getting this done. This is the locus of point P. This is the locus of point P.